New documents in the 2016 murder of Hazel Obando show her three-year-old daughter may have witnessed Earl Joyner killing the mother. Fox 4 anchor Patrick Mullen here. Uh, Nolan with more on what we're learning tonight. That's right. We're learning what happened really during his first appearance last week. We got a little more information, new evidence. Actually, Joyner's attorney, the suspect's attorney, told us about a statement given by the little girl. So that's the mm -hmm. daughter of the murder victim. And now we're knowing more about what she said. According to Joyner's arrest warrant, we're showing it to you, redacted, the little girl was playing with her toys outside a courtroom in February of 2016. Obando's daughter was seen throwing her stuffed animal, and then she threw herself on her back and started making gurgling sounds. Well, the person watching her believed she was mimicking something she had witnessed. Later that day, DCF investigators spoke with the girl, and after a medical exam, the child was asked if she had ever had any injuries where she bled, and she said, quote, mommy had blood. When asked if somebody hurt mommy, she replied, quote, Poppy shooted mommy, mommy had blood. The girl went on to describe hearing loud sounds and hearing her mother scream. Afterwards, she says her mother did not talk or cry. Joyner's attorney says there's not enough probable cause in this case, according to him, at least to hold him on bond. The state says, he, he says the state doesn't have any new evidence, but he also says the girl's statement may not even be permitted as evidence in trial. The evidence that they have is they're saying a three-year-old child who just lost her mother made a, state, a very, made a very vague statement. And a child that age, usually that testimony is not even going to be permitted in a court of law to begin with. Well, the documents we obtained also show that Joyner, the suspect, called 911 and asked for an ambulance, saying his girlfriend was covered in blood. But the documents also show when medics got there, they felt like it only appeared that he was giving CPR, but he wasn't actually doing the compressions. Hazel's mom says her daughter was planning to confront him about suspected cheating on her and trying to spend her tax return money on strippers. Documents say Hazel told loved ones that he had made repeated threats to kill her and was abusive. Joyner seen there making his first appearance is charged with homicide. He's being held for now without bond. And Fox 4 News at 5 will be right back right after.